ทันตาจิตตาจักรตุเสียงเป็นเขี้ยปะเป็นเด็ดตาหนุ่มจีจอมเป็นทันตาจุนตาบันดาวาเสียดอดตาหนาวาตรงตัวเดียบตาเส้
It's often, uh, it is well known that in Tibet there are the eight chariots of the practice lineages. And so there are these eight chariots, but here it is taught about, it taught in the most uh, widely known way, which is in the in four different schools. And so here it's taught about in terms of the Sakya, Geluk, Kaju, and the Drukpa schools, these four schools. And it, uh, it teaches how if you do not know the main points of these schools as they are, then you will not see the nature as it should be. But if you uh, follow the instructions of the forefathers of the lineages properly and understand it, then you will see it. And so in this way, there are aspects that are compatible and aspects that are not uh, compatible. And so if we practice these properly as they should be, then they are compatible with Dzogchen. Tene tate ya tanda tangbo tapa de sacha pe onto siena sacha pa te ke saltun zimi je nelu tangma so sacha pe tawala ta kande sungi ware siena cerdo ta lamde bo ton ke pa se lamde lobhi lamde chuhi se ta chitang tanda um Roman lots of Jagar La Pedne Tene Umbrua Petone Tat and the Dongatins of Saint Saint Nate Nitir Bajendola Sachin Sachavala Jibarilla Sachapala Jibatilla Lomdri Lobji said to Tomo Imbel Lomanola Tene Jiba to Jig Jerem Jiba to Jig Zorem Yamsulent on the Tatil and Nundu Yamsulent on Tins of Rembajendo Nola Lomdri Lobji. Tatile, Tizil, Tachetawa in the Nonsale Madonna, Tom Pichuk and Java Yunga get set to La Tempatilla, Londre Suhi, Sitat in the Nangi or La Tatinzu, Tawala Cario or Sena, Tachetanga Sent Nelu Chetawa in the Tatarga, Tutonji, Palsara Havanis on the Rambayan to the Jib Mengola, Tene Chetanga, Chuchi in the Nelu. They are keeping him to get near the Ziggo Yorilla. They are keeping him to near the Zibala, the name to Naranto, the same tail at Nito Nine, Gongo by Imbetan, the same to near the Salwa Yimba, Salwa Hiba Tia, Tasente, Chitanga, the name Tasente, Sente, not to enjoy the news and bats on my Imba, Tatila, Sarcha Tiranginki, Yepata. Tinitingo, Rangin Chitomba Yimba, Zemiji Nelu Tama, the Yegi or the Tasacha Bagat in the Sungi or the Jay. Tati Jesu Roga de Barella, Gelupa Sage, Sidu Geluparella, Gelupi Tawala Carisungi or the Sen, Nonkin Chudin, the Tony Tudors, Gelupa Tawate, Tacherdo. Tene ta tangbo ta pela sanji ke temba je tene te je so jalbo long tarme ke temba no ne sanji ke temba te te si nyam tene rangin ke yarte si tariyong kapsula tene te sanji ke temba te chultong temba ya mambo tar chultong mantin ba ya mambo je tar ne tene ta tanda Big Jalbo, Lama, Shuishi, Sonju, Sinkit, number Ning, Tinisanji, get them by the Tama, Jaso, get Chetu, Tinicho, Jibati, Attica, Pedro, Dainton, Barilla, Tinicho, Jibati, Attica, the Kawa Mambo, Jin, Dainton, Barre, Dainton, Ne, Tinit, Joji, Bati, Attica, Tom, the Chu song, Cotton, the Man, not in the song, Ne, Tinit, Cotton, Young, Dong. Menga singing jig sum, menga tin to sum at the la. The Nicadam young dead, Nirumba, Yendal Tarne, the Nit and the Jetsonkabag, the Nitti, Temba de Pelne, Cadam Yumba, singing jig, Damatins or Remji Pene, Niro Gadim Petawa Sumata. The Nitti Yendo, Tanda, young Damog, Damot, Menga Corte. Tenir by Jim to Cotton Pe Givi Hini Tangila Jenny, Tapo Hajila Jenny, Tinny, Saja Chimboton, Casa Chuo Chin Racing in the Cotton Pot, Chuo Jet and Tripati, Tatini Chumarella, 
ตีนานี่ตันตะเกลุปาติเหรอโรกาติปาติตันตะจีซงคาปาติรัมบายินตันตะเจนี่ตาตุนี่โซนังเกยอาเรตุนี่โซนเตนมันดูเตละคันติซ
There is the advice and there are the instructions, these three aspects. And so these, the philosophical tradition uh, spread, and as it spread, it was picked up by Tsongkhapa, who later uh, con continued to spread this view. And so, uh, he, uh, and so he taught this view of the Kadampa philosophy and gradually spread it uh, throughout. And so that was part of the Gelugpa tradition. Then the advice and the instructions were passed down through many great Geshes, or spiritual friends of the Kadampa tradition until uh, they came to the great physician from Bak Dakpo, uh, Gampopa. And so Gampopa unified these with the teachings on Mahamudra so that uh, the Kadri tradition became the, un uh, the, the, river that unify uh, the river that is the union of the Kadampa and Mahamudra traditions. So here, when we talk about, the, talk about it here in this context, we're primarily talking about the Gelugpa view, the view of the uh, philosophical schools. And this is as it was taught by Tsongkhapa. And Tsongkhapa primarily taught emptiness. And when he taught emptiness, he taught that this emptiness is the emptiness endowed with supreme potential. So this is the interdependence, the interdependent origination where everything can appear. But at the same time as everything appears, the essence of it is empty. Yet it can also appear. Because there's that potential for it to appear, it is the uh, emptiness with the supreme potential. Yet the nature of this is also free of all the extremes and, and uh, elaborations. So that is the view of the Gelugpa school. Tene tate jeso takar nduk ni te ta chuji ti pa da boje chuma tnya tapo ka ji le chuma re la tapo ka ji se de je gombo pa le chuma re je gombo pa ge tanda kontu ji pa jen do ka cha chu jin di ge tong na se de tong bo ko ka dam pe ge ji ni te tene te ka so la chu ji pa de a te sha ni ji pe me ngo ten zo Tunyo Nichitanga, Tanda, Jetson Miller Repage, Tanda, J Gomboba, Ugula Mape, Tadama Tinzo Chasan Sing, Tene, Titan Ugula, Lundin Tato, Pedutella, Jetson Miller Repig, Zulam Nama, Tene Conga, Homasola Sonne, Tangaranga, Tani, Shagabodi Ugula, Porsons. Dear Chimbo, take a cell of pop songs. Tinny Tilla, Nangba Mambo, Tilla, Chitanga Shamambonsam, Tinan, Nangba Mambonsam, Tinny, the Nangba Serbo, Mambonsam, the heat on the Serniogi, Consum attended, Lumben Dot on the Serniogi, Consum attended, the Mam Tangjons, Tigre, Tangaranga, Loma. Tanda tapu dawe gen nge sanji ke tembala chawa che gen to senji mon bola pein to be tender ya po zmlam ya po tang son te ne ngat nan jor pe chung sanji ke tembala chawa che ndo samba tende pe ya po chung son son ne ka na mar la ti zlo te tar do te ne tapu dawe gen no te ne tanda u ge cho la pe tapu gom gom bo dar jir ro la pe ne Choosing the Tin Loma Samji Majapandu. Loma Samji Majapandu, ne Loma Tenzo, and Loma Tele, Tain Sarawa. Then a Gomchi, Gomchi Jeja, Tat and the Jumarilla, the Sanji jumped in the Long Tempatardo, Gomchi Jeja, then the Jung Loji or Tin Tantan Totins in Jalbu Nanto, Tining Homa, Tin Chongju Sempatawe, and you can Totins in Jabu Hugh. Tenemma on palan do tinzin jabu, tembate, kong pelgi yen sonne, 
Then David, the soldiers in Batavi again, the Kelan, Kelon by Yendo, Long Ting, Long Ting Batardo, the soldiers in Batavi again, the dead, and the dear Gombovala, Quitia, a yeni, the Nishaja Chimbotan, Casa Chuachin, the Gatamate, now I am Balatini, the Nusloma, some Jimmyshapandu, Loma Tensola, Chuji, Tsangma, Gom Yapo, Gom Shepherd in Gilati, or Shatachon, eh? The next are the teachings of the Kaju and the Drupa school. And actually, these are the same in a sense. They came, both come from Gampopa. And so, uh, as we said before, the teachings of Gampopa unified the rivers of teachings of the Kadampa and the Mahamudra traditions. And so, uh, first, Gampopa received the teachings of the, the instructions of the Kadampa school from uh, many spiritual friends. Of the, uh, he studied the instructions that came came from glory, the glorious Atisha. And then later he heard the name Milarepa and thought he had to go meet him. So he went and met him. He received the instructions that came, that were, had been passed down from, from Naropa and Maitripa. Uh, and through the, these, meditating on these instructions, he developed wonderful realization of Mahamudra. And so this is how he unified the two streams of the Kadampa and the Mahamudra. Uh, and he had many different uh, students among them. This is uh, as uh, Milarepa. He left Milarepa and he went uh, to the uh, central part of Tibet. And as he had, uh, as Milarepa had prophesied, he taught many different students. Milarepa had had a dream, and in the dream, Milarepa said that I saw that the, uh, that a, a vulture had fl flown off and then uh, gone to the center of Tibet, and there there gathered many different birds, um, but. Uh, and, or the, the vulture landed on a great mountain, and there it was surrounded by many different birds, among which there were many uh, yellow-colored uh, uh, geese. And so with, uh, gradually all these golden and yellow-colored geese filled up the uh, entire ground. And so this is the dream uh, that I had, Milarepa said. And so, he's, um, uh, and so this is... Uh, uh, and, and so Milarepa thus prophesied that, that Gampopa would have many uh, different students who would study and train uh, in this way. And so um, Gampopa then uh, did this and uh, followed this. And as the Buddha himself had actually prophesied, uh, helped many sentient beings. Uh, and so in, in, the, uh, in the dream... Uh, uh, Mil Mil uh, so it, just hap it happened to be just as in the dream that Milarepa had. And so uh, this is what happened. Gampopa went, and uh, he, he went to the uh, central part of Tibet near the uh, mountain of Dakpo, the Dakri, uh, Dakpo Dakri. And uh, at that place he, got, place, he gathered many different students, uh, and they um, uh, and they each passed the instructions on from one to another. And so there ended up being 800 great meditators who had all ga uh, gathered here. This was as had been prophesied by the Buddha in the King of Samadhi Sutra. In that sutra, in the past, when the, uh, there was the Bodhisattva uh, youthful moonlight who requested the teachings on the King of Samadhi Sutra, and then he promised to uphold and spread these teachings of the King of Samadhi. Then the Buddha uh, predicted that he predicted that he would be able to do just as he had uh, promised. And so, in a later lifetime, the Bodhisattva youthful moonlight was born as Gampopa, and just as had been prophesied in the King of Samadhi, he spread the teachings of this uh, of of the great samadhi he unified the the streams of the kadampa and the mahamudra and and helped a great an incredible number of students who all had really uh, very pure mind streams they had pure meditation good strong wonderful uh, meditation <laughs> Tene <laughs> 
tene khamba use sengindi u utaka buje ya bala tene khamba use se ta khorangen se ngoma de maimba tene khamba shogam se tene te se hila sho de ba imbe chuna shogam se tene ta te khamba dorjal se doji jal bola dorjal se ta te khamba mesom te ta con number two cheat of Melongo on the pay, ten rich and put up. Tene, tela, tene, ta lomazo and double chumad. Tachugo on the senna lomazo and double chumad la. Tene, lomazo de chundu tela, lomazo de dinane, tene comba, um, salton shogum, shogum singing tela, tene conri, um, chuji jipa de majumad. Tina ni tsuwa te kana chungare se na kamba te ne usye ta na kamba dorjal ni chungare la. Te ne kamba dorjal, kamba usye te te ne kama pa kunting tampo tusam chen pa che. Tampo kusi tue la ta kamba usye shogi yore. Kusi me la te ne kama pa tusam chen pa se. Te ne te tarto konge tampe ta te tempa chungare la te ne kama kaju ke tempa te chungare la te ne. Kerjip pas yang kita cuma ada. Tapi teh Yesus kamba dorji jalbo, kamba dorjal te, tapi kamba motor la, pene gamba je, kamba tu sumpah nanti yang kita gamba te jap ne. Tapi teh ke sini te kong la cak ne, kamba motor pas ke. Kuci teh la dorjal se ke. Kuci me la tapi kamba motor pas juga. Tapi kong la tapi kita angge kerjip cungji. Lobji samji macam apa? Ah, tni mampu cuma ni, cepat je mampu cuma ni. Di nanti cowo de, tni lingjir apa sengkin ta? Tadi konger lama lingjir apa? Lingjir apa lama de? Rongan cang bajar de, rongan cang bajar de la tni tni rupa kaji cuma ni. Tadi cerna tanda cuci tu samji batang rongan cang bajar de ni ke? Cukup jipat dia, cek kaji pat, cek dua kaji dia lah. Ini naya, kau nampak ni ke? Cukup nangjut dia kari resena. Tapi tapor macam ni, dia gombal panik juga. Saja cipu tangga dia tempari. Saja jam dinding dia cipu tinggal senji jalbo sen. Tinggal senji jalbo dia kan dia resen. Saja cipu tangga ini macam ni. Tapi senji ni luar tebal ini macam ni. Tinggal senji jalbo tak bete. Tapi kau nampak ni ke? Saja cipu tangga dia tengah hari lah. Saja cipu tangga dia tengah hari lah. Saja cipu tangga Tetapi tentang tetapi yang lain dapat tetapi mana wah cuma lah tetapi dah tanda tetapi semua lah tetapi dua kaji kita batal dengan sang bajar ini tetapi dah tanda saya sih lagi jujur ke mengapa tetapi semua nang ni kau mampu tangkap tu semua cembah ni kau mampu kaji kita batal wajar lah dah teacher nang terkandu ni sek. Tadi tangga kaji cie ye cung ji iwar ede di nane tadi tempat tarikun rabot e kandut ni bicar na kandut ni dikabar la kandut ni ke kandut sungai iwar ede macam lenci ji caja cempo se tadi cowo caja cempo tinggal se tegang iwar e macam lenci ji caja cempo tiang sende macam apa sen thamal ji hibe nelu de macam apa tegal Gom na ta te shaja chenpo yin song ne ta jie gom bo pe ti dangwa te na te ne rinba yin to la kan ru ni la jie ne tarwa yin pa chen na kam dar ma chu leng chi chi shaja chenpo song yin sa. Now, Gampopa had many different students, but among his many different students, the main ones were the three men from Kham. Now, uh, Gampopa was living in the central part of Tibet, and when the uh, people came from the eastern part of Tibet, it's like they were like hillbillies or something. They were kind of, you know, they were sort of uncouth. Wild, you know, not so. They're sort of second-rate citizens, hilly, hillbilly sort of people, and so there are these. Uh, calling these three students the three men from Calm is sort of like not a very nice way to to talk about them. It's a rather derogatory way to talk about them. But and so of these three men from Calm, there is one that they called um, who, who had gray hair, and so they called him Old Grayhead. 
and said, uh, so, you know, gray hair, uh, the gray haired one. So uh, then there was one whose lip was a little bit curled, and so they called him Satong Shogom, which meant sort of like a curled or fish lips or curly lips or something like that. And then there was the third one whom they called Dorgyal. And this is short for his name was Dorte Galsim, and they shortened it to Dorgyal. And so these were the uh, three men, the three main disciples, because of their uh, real, their their great intentions and their great aspirations. They became the great uh, meditator. Uh, the, the, through the inter interdependence of that, they became great uh, meditators. And in Dharma terms, they were these primary students of uh, Gaon Popa. So among these uh, students, the first of these, uh, one of these, the Salton Shogun, the one, the fish lips, um, he was the, he didn't really have any um, Dharma lineage that uh, came out of him. And so in terms of Gampopa's lineages, it was primarily from the old Greyhead and from uh, Dordiel. Uh, and so uh, Greyhead here actually later was, became known as the first Karmapa Dusan Kempa. <laughs> and so, um, so he, uh, uh, so later in his life, he was a realize, they realized what a great teacher he was, and he became known as the uh, first as the Karmapa Dusan Kempa. So in the first part of his life, he was called Greyhead, and then he was called uh, uh, the Knower of Three Times, Dusan Kempa. And so he primarily taught the, the instructions that were then. Uh, excuse me, then were passed down uh, through the Karmakaju, what became known as the Karmakaju lineage. So that is what is meant here when it says the Kaju, the Karmakaju. Then there was Dorja. Now Dorja, Dorje Jalson went to um, a place called Patmodrupa, and there he founded a monastery that was called uh, the uh, Kunsang Notre, the recognition of Samantabhadra. Uh, and so here he um, became known as Pakmodrupa, the guy from Patma, really, the Pakmodrupa. And so in the first part of his life, he was called Dorje Jalson or Dorgyal. In the second part of his life, he was called uh, Patmo Drupa. Now, uh, the eight, uh, there are the eight younger lineages. Sometimes it's translated as lesser lineages. It's maybe better, more respectful to, to say the, the younger lineages. The eight lung, younger lineages of his, his came out of his students. He had many different students, but among his students, one of the main students was the master Lingrepa. And Lingrepa's main student was the master named Tsampa Gyare. And so Tsampa Gyare then uh, had many students, and it was out of uh, from his instructions that the uh, Drukpa uh, Kaju lineage came. So that is here the Drukpa lineage, the, the lineage that comes from Tsampa Gyare. So here we talk about the, the Kaju and the Drukpa. And so in terms of the Dharma, what are these like? Well, in terms of the Dharma, they're the same. They teach the same instructions on Mahamudra that came uh, from Gaon Popa. These are the Buddha's instructions on the king of Samadhi. The king of Samadhi means the instructions on looking at the nature of the mind, recognizing and resting in the nature of the mind. This is the king of all samadhis, and so uh, uh, the best of all samadhis, and so this is, these are the instructions of the, that were taught, the instructions of Mahamudra that they taught. Now, there are some differences in the sort of uh, uh, subsidiary aspects of the Mahamudra, that the secondary aspects are a little bit di different. For example, uh, in the Drukpa Kaju lineage, they primarily in, uh, emphasize the interdependence, whereas in the Karma Kaju tradition, uh, Dusan Kempa uh, taught the uh, the yoga of the of the 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 the, the, um, the innate yoga, the co-emergent yoga, the Klenjit Kaju order. Uh, and so, uh, in this way, there are these slight differences, but they're really the same. Now, the reason why it says here the Kaju and the Drukpa, meaning the Karma Kaju and the Drukpa, is that uh, among all of the different Kaju lineages, the four elder and the eight younger lineages, the ones that spread the most widely were the, Kaju, uh, the Karma Kaju lineage and the Drukpa lineage. And so uh, that is why uh, they are uh, singled out here. And what is it that these lineages primarily teach? It is as it is said here towards the bottom of page 17, the unaltered innate Mahamudra. And so this is the unaltered, the, uh, this is looking at the nature of the mind and see when looking at the nature of the mind, not altering it anyway, not altering the ordinary mind. 
and just looking directly at the uh, ordinary mind. That is the practice of Mahamudra. And so these are the instructions that Gampapa gave. They're passed down through the Kaju and the Drukpa lineages. And so here it's uh, the unaltered innate Mahamudra. Tini <laughs> Mengwa the <laughs> Narangan And so here there are the uh, four schools, the Sakya, Gelu, Kaju, and the Drukpa. And the instructions of all of these for the Sakya, it is the pure nature, clear and empty, free of all fixation, fixation for the Gelukpa. It is the emptiness with supreme potential, free of all lab- elaborations for the, uh, for the Karma Kaju and the Drukpa. It is the un- unaltered innate Mahamudra. And so all of these instructions are instructions about the free about, that are free about being, not being something, not being existent, not being non-existent. It's free of all assertions. And so uh, they have many different uh, features of all of them. There are different uh, features of all of them. So the masters of these schools may proclaim them uh, with fa- may proclaim with fanfare these various different terms. They may say that these are really uh, wonderful instructions. These are great. They're very profound uh, instructions. And so uh, they may be they may be like that. But you have to look at this. You have to look at it for yourself and to see what is it really like. And so how is it that you look? And so the way that you look is if you, if by the power of scripture, logic, instructions, and experience, so if by the uh, power of the scriptures that come from the great meditators of the past, and by the power of one's own logic, one's own listening and contemplation, and then through the uh, instructions that come from the root and lineage lamas, and then by our own experience, if we have all of these four, the scripture, logic, instructions, uh, uh, and experience, then, uh, then we can meditate on this one. We have to 
meditate well, and we have to look at this. Because as it says, these all point a finger at something. And so what is it that, uh, excuse me, if, if by through these you come to wisdom that transcends mind, that is excellent. So you have to look and see how it is. And if what you have is something that transcends mind, and when we talk about mind here, what mind means is all the confused appearances, the thoughts and everything of the eight consciousnesses, the thoughts and fixations of the, of the eight consciousnesses. And so if this is something that um, uh, transcends that, and we realize something that transcends that, that is excellent, that is really good, that is fine. But, uh, and so we have to follow the scripture, the uh, logic, the instructions, and the experience to find, uh, to realize it. And so these all point a finger at something. What could that be like? So these are all pointing at something, and we have to look for ourselves to see what is it that they're really pointing at. And so we need to look at it when we are uh, actually practicing. When we are practicing, if we, say, if we talk about what we're saying, and it's sort of just nice, sweet words about what we're talking, that's one thing. But if it's when we look at it and we see, okay, now I actually have real experience of this, that's another. So when we're meditating, if we think to ourselves, yeah, you know, my meditation is actually pretty good, then, then that's good. But if we look at it and we think, oh, my meditation, I'm just spouting off nice things with my mouth, I'm not saying, there's no point in any, any of this, then we still need to be diligent about our practice. We still need to rely upon the scripture, logic, instructions, and experience. <laughs> Jigombo <laughs> Then Certain <laughs> Tini 
Tegendo, compelto, non topa, compelto town, la sonam di tosa, gugri, sonam di tosa, betala, tanda conti cuba yenda, tene jimba town, sansi norgi jimba, tamba chuji jimba, menji chapji jimba la sope, jimba town, chapa pull, tat in the sea gugri oreti, yena yata, tap devig each other, naran to mendel pull, tela tin, the sonam di tosa, betap tat in the song you are la. Tenim hendro tenzo yapo talna na pe nyom to ba che parchi njupa ta sela che parchi njupa la pe pento che bota go pa che bo yungi yo re sombare re Now of all of these the instructions of uh, Gampopa, the instructions of, of Mahamudra and his presentation of these the, in the unification of the streams of the Kadampa and the Mahamudra. Uh, in this he gave the instructions that came from Milarepa and Mahamudra, the instructions that came from uh, the Kadampa and these are uh, ways for us to really develop ourselves. So when we're practicing meditation we really need to develop and increase our experience and realization. And the way that we need to do this is to through the referential uh, accumulation of merit and through the non-referential accumulation of wisdom. So, with, so we have these two, the referential accumulation of merit and the non-referential accumulation of wisdom. The referential accumulation of merit is primarily to make efforts with our body um, and speech to pra and practice the Dharma through that. And then the non-referential accumulation of wisdom is to uh, practice samadhi meditation, to study and gradually develop real meditation, real samadhi within our beings and increase uh, that. So when we talk about this unification of the streams of the Kadampa and the Mahamudra traditions, how do we practice uh, this and the, uh, how do we practice it? Well, in this we pra practice uh, the instru instructions that come from the uh, Kadampa school when we talk, when we um, do the instructions on going for refuge, on generating bodhicitta, on practicing vajrasattva to, uh, uh, to uh, purify our misdeeds and obscurations, uh, on making mandala offerings to gather the accumulation of merit, and on in doing guru yoga to uh, quickly receive the blessings. Um, so these are the four uh, preliminary practices and that we do. And we do these in order to gather the accumulation of the uh, merit. And so whether or not we have, whether we're someone who has finished these preliminary practices or not, we still need to keep doing them over and over again. It is important, if we are diligent about doing this, this will really help us gather the accumulation of merit. Now, when we talk about gathering the accumulation of merit, in terms of the sutras, this is primarily presented uh, in terms of the practices of the six paramitas. There is the practice of generosity, discipline, patience, um, diligence, uh, jhana or uh, meditative concentration, and, uh, and prajnans. But in an order to make these more easy for us to do, if we want to practice, we do the, uh, an easy way to, pra to purify our misdeeds and obscurations in the Vajrayana is to do the practice of Vajrasattva. And so if we uh, meditate on Vajrasattva and we recite the hundred syllable mantra of Vajrasattva, then we can purify all of our misdeeds. And we can also purify all of the thoughts that are obscurations. We have many obscurations that are thoughts that prevent us from developing real meditation. And uh, so we need to eliminate these thoughts. So if we have a lot of thoughts that happen in our mind, if there are many afflictions that keep on coming up in our mind, then we are afflicted. And that, uh, is a, uh, that obscures our meditation. It prevents us from developing uh, real meditation. So we need to eliminate these. And in the way to eliminate these is to do this uh, practice of Vajrasattva and to accumulate the uh, merit and thus um, uh, purify our misdeeds and obscurations. And then, it, and so the particular method in the secret mantra Vajrayana is to do Vajrasattva meditation uh, to purify uh, the obscurations. And if we do this, it'll decrease the number of thoughts we have in our meditation. It'll decrease the number of afflictions that we feel. Uh, and so uh, this will be very helpful. Of course, when we do this, it is quite possible that there will be temporary difficulties and obstacles. But if you keep at it, then it will really, your medication, your meditation, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> your meditation will really go well. Ask your doctor about your medications, not me. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. 
Now also, when we want to practice uh, meditation, we need to gather the accumulation of merit. And generally, we do this uh, in the sutra tradition through generosity. We um, have the generosity of making material offerings, the generosity of teaching the Dharma, and the generosity of giving freedom from fear. So we can do that, but there's an easy method for doing this, and that is to make mandala offerings. And so <laughs> when we make mandala offerings, then we gather the accumulation of merits. And so, uh, that is what is taught. And when we uh, do these preliminary practices, if we do them really well, then this is really uh, very helpful for us for developing real experience and really realization. It is uh, very helpful for us in actually receiving the really uh, wonderful, strong blessings. <laughs> Sungyon Tinetinba, <laughs> Tinetinba, <laughs> Yana, Tinchi Mazoin, Tinchi the Tongue get up, Son de Se, Solo Tab, Tinit to Jet and Silan Jubi Migasiana, Tati Silan to Nipa Yungre Latinitati, Son of Jutso Sabate, Pe, Calchek and Do, Tangarangi, Tishugu and Do, some Soma, Numa, Tinelama, Kahi Gangala, Gonchari, Mambuna, you, Tacherang Chaja Chimbosaja Chimbosha, he, Tine, Nandro Lazani, two Mepatat in the Chicken. <laughs> These days, the Gyalwang Karmapa has now, uh, he's composed a new shorter Ngundra practice. And the reason that he uh, composed this practice is that there, uh, that there are people who aren't able to be as diligent about their Dharma practice. And so they, uh, uh, so it's for them that this uh, new uh, preliminary practice was uh, composed. And so it's not like you should, th should think to yourself, oh, you know, that old Ngundro, that's just old-fashioned superstition. We don't need that. Give it up. That's not how it is. It's not like that. Actually, in the best of circumstances, you should do the old uh, Ngundro practices. If you're not able to do that, uh, then, uh, then you can do the other. But still, it's important to practice, uh, uh, to practice it and to do the Ngundro practices over and over again. If you meditate on the Vajrasattva, when you do the Vajrasattva meditation, uh, if you think to your, uh, if you find yourself, I'm having a lot of problems with hatred and anger. There's this real, they're really harming me. And so I am doing this Vajrasattva practice to, to smooth out and to soften that. Or if you think to yourself, I'm having this problem with coarse thoughts that are preventing me from uh, meditating. And then if you think that the 
when you do the Vajrasattva practice that then the nectar flows from Vajrasattva and it flows through you and as it does all of these coarse thoughts that prevent you from meditating are, are washed away, cleansed and purified, then uh, this is really helpful. This is the real powerful, the real blessings and power of the uh, Vajrasattva practice. Similarly, um, we do the mandala offerings because sometimes, you know, we feel like to ourselves, oh, I'm not really able to develop the realization I want to do. And so if we think to ourselves, I'm not able to do that, to develop that realization, so I am giving these mandala offerings in order to develop that, to get, gain the merits so that I can do that. Then you will be able to receive the flow of the uh, blessings from this. You will be able to uh, g uh, complete the accumulation of merit. And then we also do the, uh, the guru yoga in order to quickly receive the blessings of the lama. We supplicate to the lama for whatever it is that we need. If we feel to ourselves, I'm not really able to develop the realization I need to, to do, so please bless me that I can develop the realization. Or we might think to ourselves, my meditation is not going well enough. Bless me that my meditation go, uh, go well. Uh, if we think to ourselves that there are too many coarse thoughts that are in our minds and think to ourselves that we're doing this, please bless us, supp supplicate the Lama to help us purify ourselves of all these coarse thoughts. Or if we find that we have a lot of difficulties and problems and, and unfortunate circumstances, then we supplicate that these may be dispelled. Or if we find that we don't have all the proper conditions we need, uh, then we supplicate that all those conditions might uh, come together. And if we pray and we supplicate uh, the Lama for those, then we can receive the blessings and the power uh, that this will happen. And so this will really uh, help us gather the uh, accumulation of merit. And it's really important to talk about this. It's really important for me to um, teach you about this accumulation of merit. It's really important because actually, you know, there have been a few lamas who have sort of expressed their opinion to me. They say, you know, you're always talking about Mahamudra, 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 and you never talk about those preliminaries. You know, that's not so good, they say. And so thinking about it, oh, maybe they're right. So I thought, <laughs> so, so I think it's really especially important for, to talk, for me to talk about the preliminaries now. <laughs> So that's enough for this afternoon session. And if anyone has a question, please ask. Is there a microphone for the questioners? Oh, yeah. That's a question. Thank you, Rinpoche, for teaching. Um, uh, <clears throat> yesterday afternoon, um, we were discussing the pure nature and the impure nature of self-arising innate awareness. And at that time, um, Rinpoche um, said that the pure nature had three aspects. Um, Wisdom, love, and power. And this I'd never heard before, and I was wondering mm -hmm. if um, Rinpoche could elaborate particularly on love and also on wisdom and power. Kasan Gontaki, Chitunga Kasu, Rinpoche Kasu, and Kasu Kadat, Kadat, Kasu Kadakini Lutan, Kasu Dapa, and Madapa Gine Sudaba Shepe Sum, Kasu Dilla, Dapa Gingo Dilla, Kasu Dilla, Napa Sum, you're Dapa Gine Sud Dilla, and Kasu Napa Sum Dilla, Kinse, New Sum, you're a Sumare, Dadi, Noma Goman Yoma, Shede, Kinse, New Sum, Gi, Koda, Yanja, Tes, Shinar, and Mixi, Gi, Kasu Tsewa, Gi, Koda, De Kande Jumre, the Kasu. だから in oh, the meaning awesome. of the view of the unborn. Right. I directly experience this essence of mind itself. Mm-hmm. 
Чириан Чарвай, ну сум ням ням. Казо. Чириан Чарвай. Чириан Чарвай, ну сум ням ням. Чириан Чарвай, ну сум ням ням. Та тела таква гэч. Мада бе чани он чай он тесена. Та кун танда кун зуб кун нуан нам бат нацу пан чарги юаре ла. Тене таква гэ он тесена. Нгам бар зуб бар сан че. Сон чу сэмпе са то. Не. Та канде юнг гэре сэна. Чем ба пунсам цу ба сэгэре ла. Чем ба пунсам цу ба сэду хэрап гэн ола ко гэ юар. Хэрап тэ чем ба тэ нам ба нисун гэ юар. Jatawan cembi ihi tu, cini pan cembi ihi sungai orang. Jatawan cembi ihi sedu nelu gong tu sena, cuy tam cik cuy ni, seni gong nelu jatawan yang tu cembah ati la jatawan yang, jatawan cembah. Cini pan cembah sedu kunjung cunong, tadi sang ngaran sang jena ya, seni tenjo la dungal kandi nyong gong tu, nyamun ba kandi pel gong tu, la la lam nyam ni apa cik tu. Tene tak sanji jom dindeji, tak kanga durza senji tanji la zai ni sanji hal hidup kau selalanya. Tene tak sanji ni nyinsi tu tu la zai se, ni mana rere tu se, ni mana rere la tu se tu la senji tenzo la dulu tu la papa kandeng tu, tuan be cuci tu tempe kan dulu waru apa, zonsur tempe kan dulu waru apa, jalan jen dulu waru apa, ah rasa apa tak dindeji, nampak nak coba kan tap tenzo cita wa. Cacawan cenggih orang la, dia cenggih apa cenggih ihi segi orang. Jika cenggih cenggih ihi, jika dia nelu tu itu, nonsur tu cacawan cemba. Cewa sengkeng tu kandi jela kau gay orang sena, dini ta ngaran sanji ke kompon topson, ngan coba topson, ta sengkeng tu tu dubu nyonya nyonya, siapa lagi orang mandu, dini ko konsu konsu dubu nyang dina kaji oh sengsalu, dini main pa. नारान सांची के कंपन थोड़ ने सेंची तीन सौ तान दिन दे दुबोन्यों दे दे लिथार वे के थाप जी कांडे थो कांडे सीने तें गोंगा था दिन दे ते ते तो सेवा चिंबो गोंबा ते ला सेवा से करे ते ने नुपा से दूध ते ला ते ने ताती सेवा ते कांडे जी रे सेना सेवा काशी ला नुपा यो आमरे सेवा काशी नुपा यो आरे � Ma lodom me pochu cherwa tabu se. Ama lapa me pochu cherwa tabu se. Pugu te chuk kursona ta pe zewa chibu yuwa re te. Yena yon te chabi aga lapa yuwa ma re. Te ne kan chab togu yuwa ma re te. Te ala nupa me pa re. Sanji chom tindi tindi ribi se ne tindi ma re. Sanji chom tindi ji tu yung namba jyundu. Te ne thap namba na chopa la te ne. Te ne thangpe chui chung kolo kor. Thangpe chui chung kolo chuk thang ji la chab ne. Sen chen som ji ma chapa som ji ma chapa. Tene tarbatung tamjin jimpe lang la ke, tarbatung tamjin jimpe lang la ma ke na yon, nekap dungal li ta, ta tende mang po nang ke yo arel, te ala nupa pung son sopa te, chen se nusom se kere. So here there are, the, there are the pure and the impure aspects. In terms of the impure aspects, there, these are the uh, different, various different uh, uh, relative appear confused appearances of relative truth that can happen. But in terms of the uh, pure aspects, it is the, the wisdom, love, and power of, the, of those who have awakened to complete and perfect Buddhahood or those who have attained the bodhisattva levels. And so that is uh, the wisdom, love, and power. And so when we talk about the wisdom here, the wisdom here, this is um, this is the knowing. It's got the, the aspect of the prajna. There are the two aspects. There's wisdom and there is prajna. This is the essence of this. And when we talk about this, there are two parts of it. There is the, the wisdom that knows the nature of all phenomena, and then there is the wisdom that knows the variety of all phenomena. So the wisdom that knows the nature of all phenomena knows exactly how all phenomena really are, what their nature is. It knows the nature of the mind as it is. This is the wisdom that knows the nature of all. Then the wisdom that knows the variety of all phenomena, it's like, uh, it's, it's like the, the Buddha has awoken to Buddha. He's like, now I'm Buddha, and look at all the suffering that sentient beings have. Look at how these beings are not able to practice the path properly. Look at how uh, there are all these different people who are waiting uh, to be helped and tamed. And so seeing that, and it's said that the Buddha would look six times per day and, and night, every day, every day and night, six times he would look to see 
How can he help sentient beings? There may be some sentient beings who can be helped by teaching Dharma. Some sentient beings can be helped by demonstrating miracles. Some sentient beings can be helped uh, through, uh, through uh, his conduct and behavior. And so knowing that, that is the wisdom that knows things. Um, knows the variety of all things. And so, by, uh, so when the Buddha knows the nature of, uh, of all things, there is love that happens. It's like when, uh, uh, the, when the Buddha awakens to Buddhahood, is, is it like, you know, okay, I've awoken to Buddhahood, great. Now there are all these sentient beings, ha, they're suffering, who cares about that? That's not important. Is that what happens? It's not like that. It's actually the Buddha sees these are the uh, these are the uh, you know I, you know I've I've woken to, I've awoken up but all these other sentient beings are experiencing such suffering and so I've got to do something to help them to help liberate them and there are methods to help doing that so he teaches the methods and so this is uh, the love of the power so we have the wisdom and we have the love. And then when you have love, uh, th love, then sometimes this love uh, has power to it and sometimes it doesn't have power to it. Like sometimes when it, when it lacks the power, it's like um, if you have a mother who has no arms and um, her child is thirsty, uh, she may want to carry some water over and give it to her child, but... Oh, excuse me. I missed that. A mother who has no arms and, who, uh, and her uh, child is being carried away uh, by a river. She may want to pull her child out of the river, but she's unable to do it. She does not have uh, the power uh, to do it. But is the, Buddha's power, uh, is the Buddha's love like that? It's not. He has the ability to see the method that's going to help, to, te to turn the wheel of Dharma and teach the Dharma. And in this way, he is able to help all sentient beings without any distinction. And, he's, and through this, he's brought an inconceivable number of sen sentient beings onto the, onto the paths and brought them to the states of liberation on, and omniscience. And even if the, for those who he have, hasn't brought there, he's been able to protect protect them uh, temporarily for the suffering. And so he has the power to do this. And so in this way, there is the wisdom, love, and power. <laughs> oh, Rinpoche, this morning you spoke briefly about wisdom and expanse, Shentong. Hmm. Um, I'm wondering if you could say a little bit more about how it falls short of Dzogchen and Mahamudra, what the limitations are of this form of Majamaka in relation to those two schools. The <laughs> <laughs> when we talk about the wisdom and the expanse uh, Shentong schools, this is what, uh, when there is too much fixation on it, then you are not able to really realize the Dzogchen as it is. So with the um, expanse Shentong, it's like there's fixation on the, on, the, on the mind, thinking that the expanse is permanent, that it's unchanging. And then with the uh, uh, wisdom Shentong, the, the too much fixation on the wisdom, on the clear aspect as being uh, permanent, unchanging. And, and so as long as you have that sort of fixation, uh, then you are not able to really realize the self-arising wisdom. And so it's as we talked about uh, in this afternoon uh, session. These all point a finger at what could that be? Uh, f these all point a finger at something. What could that be like? So you've got to look and see what is it that they're actually pointing at. So just to clarify, so without those fixations, then the view of those two schools of Shintong would be in resonance with Mahamudra and Dzogchen? 
yeah, that's right. If you have the proper uh, view and you aren't uh, fixated upon it, then you will gradually come to realize the view of uh, Dzogchen. Uh, on the topic of supreme potential, uh, I'm assuming that's um, uh, like in the process of the four Abhishekas, um, parents is empty mind. Parents is mind, mind is empty. Emptiness is spontaneously, um, what is it, spontaneously mm -hmm. arising. Uh, is that where the supreme potential is manifest? And what if it becomes a very anxious potential instead? Uh, it's not at all blissful, and I'm not <laughs> encouraged to do much of it. <clears throat> ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Yeah. Uh-huh.